right, Coach, talk about what it was like to play homecoming today, your first time as a coach. Yeah, I mean, you know, homecoming, it, typically, it, it's always about managing everything that's going on outside the football game, you know, with your players. It's, uh, there's so much going on. You have so many people coming in, family com members coming in, and a lot of times uh, it's easily, uh, you're easily distracted. But I thought our kids, for the most part, I thought we had a good week of preparation, had a lot of moving parts. I mean, uh, man, all the way up until this morning, I mean, just, uh, it, it, you know, injuries not making any excuses at all. Hats off to Southern Utah. I knew it was going to be a tough game. They, it was, I said it earlier in the week, uh, they were a mirror image of us. You know, they've gone about a decade uh, of uh, now they're trying to rebuild. he got a first-year head coach, and uh, he's instilling a lot of the qualities that we're trying to instill in our young men. And you can just look at it. They've outscored their opponents 62 to 35 going into uh, today's game. And I, I told our guys all day, I said, I don't care what the score is. It's going 60 minutes. You better prepare yourself for 60 minutes of football, and that's exactly what it was. And... Um, you know, I've said it over and over again, winning is hard. Um, and you, you just, you can never take it for granted and you have to continue. You can't uh, get tired of doing things right and, and preparation and doing all the things that it takes to win. Didn't this seem like more than any of your other games this year, you kind of had to piece this one together? Yeah, I, I, and I felt I, it's weird that you say that. That's exactly how I felt all week long. I mean, it's like, well, uh, now this kid's out. We've got to move this guy over here, and then he'll be the backup over here. And well, There was just a lot of moving parts this Not week. Field, that, that's right. I mean, and we just kind of had to, you know, just it was just bits and bits. <laughs> pretty good. <laughs> felt like he was putting together a jigsaw <laughs> at times. It really did. Uh, you know, manufacturing points. I mean, you know, we went the rugby punt right there with Peyton right off the get-go. That kind of got us going, thank goodness. And then, uh, you know, the pick uh, got us going again. But, uh, you know, when you lose two leaders up front, and it wasn't so much their ability as much as it is their leadership. I mean, it, it's when, when they're out of there, I mean, that's the two guys that everyone else is, you know, looking to. And, and uh, I knew that was going to uh, play a significant role because defensively they're very active up front, a lot of moving, slanting. Uh, and if you're not, you know, on the same page from a communication and even experience-wise picking that kind of stuff up, um, it, it's a load. And uh, they do a really nice job with that. Um, but very proud of our kids. You can't say enough. Of, I mean, they've done it all year. We've done it every game. Every single game, our, our players have just hung in there no matter what the circumstances. They, don't, they do not waver. They don't, they don't panic. You can look in their face. There's, there's, uh, there's confidence when we get in those situations, um, and we just got to uh, you take this by week and and get over a bunch. It came at a perfect time. I mean, it really did. Uh, it, it just uh, it just going to give us an opportunity to get, to get over some of those uh, bumps and bruises. And when we come back uh, for that last four game stretch, we ought to be pretty much at full strength. So talk about the thing. Yeah. Was was yeah, we just, uh, me and uh, Peyton sat down probably two weeks ago, two and a half weeks ago, and I just said, you're too good of a person, you're too good of a leader, you're too good of a uh, just, I mean, player, I mean, you name it. Now, he's just such a quality individual, and I said, and there's got to be something you can do for us, you know, because we, you know, we asked him to be a team player, and he moved to safety, and he, and he, he did that and never, never batted an eye. So, you know, we've created a role. We've got some other things that will break out the last four games of the year that you'll see where, where, where he'll be uh, uh, more involved um, in it. Because just, just like that right there, I mean, what, what a play. And, uh, you know, I, I think that he, he's a guy that we can, uh, you know, that we, we, we got to utilize his skill set. I mean, he's a threat. He can throw it. He can run it. Uh, he can kick it. I mean, I, I mean, we was just sitting there talking, and he told me, he said, Coach, I was an all-state punter. And I was like, really? So we put that in uh, two weeks ago, and uh, you would have saw it again if we had had to punt that last, that last drive. <laughs> <laughs> did, you but, did you worry at all going into this one about just emotionally? Yeah, yeah. It, I, you know, and I, I'm not like, um, you know, I don't, I don't like sounding like an excuse maker, but, you know, the, the trip to Utah, the trip the other night, so emotional. You get back, you go to bed at 5. I mean, 
I don't know how the kids are, but it takes me till Wednesday before I start feeling normal again. So it, I was proud. I, I thought our kids had a very spirited Tuesday and Wednesday practice. They obviously recover a lot faster than I do uh, from, from those uh, trips like that. But, you know, I, I knew, I just knew, I, I, I knew that this game was going to be a rough 60 minute going to come down to the end exactly the way it did. And I just can't say enough about the way our kids just you know, found out a way, find a, find a way to win, and they did. Talk about the gamble on the on the fake punt. I mean, if that doesn't work, yeah, there's no telling how this game goes. Yeah, it, well, it's not a, it's a, it's a, it's a run punt option. So if he it, once he saw the edge field, then obviously he had the chance to run it. But if if they pull him up, he'll punt it. Yeah, so it wasn't a call to fake. Safe. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it's an option play basically. Talk about the fourth quarter. Some of the momentum there, the yeah. swinging a little bit. You saw that yeah. last week against Carlton. Yeah. Did you know that coming in? That, that did. It's every game they play. I mean, yeah, you saw them. They scored 27 points in the fourth quarter against Tarleton. I knew. I mean, uh, yeah, that, and that's the, that's the sign of a well-coached football team. The, when you come down and, you know, they had some bad things happen to them against, against Tarleton. And, uh, you know, it, it just uh, they just stayed in it, stayed in it, and had the ball with a chance to go win. Uh, at the end of the game, so hats off to those guys. I knew, I knew they were going to be very well coached. I knew it was going to be uh, a tough, tough game. Well, and that's why the pick was so big. Though. Oh, that was huge. I mean, huge. You know, uh, you know, disappointed. We got the ball in the one yard line. We can't score. I mean, we got to score. I mean, that, at the end of the day, we got to get that ball in the end zone, make it a three score game. I think that would have put us up 18, if I'm not mistaken. And now they, now they've got an uphill battle where we didn't take advantage of that and that left the game in jeopardy and and uh, I said I don't care we're going for it we're going if you got four downs we're going for it if we can't score from the one we may not deserve to win I mean that's really how I felt and then that last first down said if we don't get a first down here uh, you know what we need we need a uh, we need a score from the one and we needed a first down and I said if we can't get a score from the one we can't get one first down you know what we put the game in jeopardy and we'll just live with the consequences <clears throat> What's that? Are you ready for a bye week? Oh man, yeah. It, you know, it's just such a mental. It's a mental grind. You know, it's more mental than than it is the physical part of it. Uh, our kids are our kids are exact. They're 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 beat up, and uh, it's 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 time. I mean, you know, you go all fall camp, and you go seven weeks straight. Uh, man, it it couldn't come at a better time, and I'm excited for our kids to you know, to, to get healed up and, and uh, get ready for this uh, final stretch.